Hello everyone! So, I am very excited to present the new release of Unhunter, the version 0.2.2. has been amazing, I'm very excited about this, this release. doesn't have that many changes, but I think that we hit the, the crucial changes that were needed to make the ambient nice and the environment spooky. It's quite crazy, I want to show you. So, let me, let me show you here. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go to the beginning map, I mean, we have the tutorials. That were shown in the last video if you want to take a look and uh, we still have the same maps uh have been busy with other things this week i mean i have to work <laughs> this is just a hobby project so cannot do that much per week i still did that a lot anyway um let me show you what is the main change here so main changes main changes so we made the game way uh brighter in this case uh, as you can see, even without flashlight, we can see right now. So, at least when I do the tutorials like this and show off the, the stuff, you can follow up. You'll be hitting some stuff at the background. Well, I have to shut up a bit because there is the the uh, automatic duck from OBS that is uh, hiding the sounds. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is much better. And then the flashlight. Okay. Another change that you can notice is very subtle, but the flashlight now is illuminating your feet at all times. So your character is brighter. Not that before, it was dark. So that's one nice change. So yeah, that will allow people to find easier to look up that this is a switch and come here and press and turn off the lights. That's how it's supposed to work, but people were not finding the switches. Uh, anyway. The main feature of the final feature of this one is this release is that you can drop the gear here. Go and drop the gear and the gear keeps working. So for example if you go here you can drop the gear and it keeps updating. And we can still hear it. There is also positional audio, very basic positional special audio, where as I go Further away from the other source, it goes dimmer and dimmer. You, ha you can still, it, still hear it from the other side of the map. I might tune that later on. But you can do that. So, for example, let's turn that off. If I, I don't know, is this the room of the ghost? No. Uh, let's try to find the, the, the ghost room. So, you go and want to find the ghost room. Yeah, like where is the ghost? And that is this typical thing, no? That we want to measure the oh my god, the ghost, the ghost is on the upper left. Um, we want to measure the temperature of the room, and usually it's best that you leave the room closed with the lights closed to measure temps. So now what we can do is we can deploy the thermometer in the ghost room. See this one we have. Or luck. Oh my god, what about luck this time? The ghost is over here for some reason. But well, we could deploy it here and it keeps updating, and then we could turn off the lights, close the room, and we could go out and let it soak, and then just come back when we want to to check for stuff. This is one of the great mechanics. This is especially important, for example, for this uh, Geiger counter, because the Geiger counter takes a lot of time to update. And instead of having to hold it all the time, if you know where the ghost is usually, just drop it there, and let's do other stuff, and it keeps updating. Ghost comes from here, I'm gonna guess that the ghost room is over here. Bingo bango. Okay, so... That is marking the, the ghost room. This white thing that keeps changing that marks the ghost room. If you are, are not aware, that's how it works. So you just go and grab this. Minus one. So we get already negative temperatures. So we could put it in the, in the right place or something like that. Okay. We got already the temperatures that we wanted and so on. Uh, the other thing that maybe you're already hearing is that the ghost makes sounds. So I'm gonna shut up for a bit. There you go. 
has different types of sounds for different scenarios. I don't know, I think it was three or four. I don't recall. I think it's three types of sounds. Then uh, there are uh, also new ambient sounds for there is a heartbeat when the ghost is uh, hurting the player to tell you to run away. I hope we can hear it soon. It's another sound of the ghost. Uh, yeah, so that's mostly it. That's most. That's mostly the uh, the changes, but gives different ambience. This there is another. Um, sound that we will hear eventually um, that is for when you get insane as you lose sanity there is a vignetting effect over here and uh, when it gets more and more you start getting insane and you start hearing sounds laughter and different kind of eerie sounds it will come in very slowly so at the beginning you will not notice it yeah, that's the sound that the ghost is about to hunt. And now we can hear the heartbeat. Okay, the heartbeat is indicating that we have been hurt. That is, the, the, the ghost is reducing our health and that we need to go away. To run. Uh, as usual, when you go to the uh, to the van, the health will increase faster, and the heartbeat will disappear. Okay. In the van, you also recover sanity. Now I'll see if I can show you the uh, the sound effect for becoming totally insane. So. I'm Turning off all the lights because that makes you go insane faster. So that's important because I want to show that sound. I can already hear it. It does need a bit of time. So that, that's your your uh, your note of that that you are becoming totally insane. You need to go out and uh, get fresh air. You start hearing this kind of voices. Weird music. That's all in your head. <laughs> Yeah, it's just insane. As you get more and more insane, it gets louder and more more obvious. There are a lot of patches in the uh, in this release as well. One of them is that the difficulty of the ghost has been reduced. You can see they can stay here and it's not attacking. He doesn't like me to be here, but it's mostly fine. Because I'm not getting that close to to it. But yeah, I am very insane at this moment, so it's, it sounds... It sounds already loud. When you're outside, you can still hear it, but less. So it's more obvious when you're inside, because outside you are recovering sanity. If you are not doing anything here outside, you are recovering the, san the sanity slowly. If you enter the van, you recover faster. See, we have here 30% sanity. And as it recovers, the volume will be going down. And we'll go back to normal. So yeah, that, that is most, most of the update. Um, as, as usual, as before, we have the two haunted objects that you can use to control the ghost that react here. I changed a bit how they react to light. I fine-tune this a bit. Hey, he's not happy. He's not happy. 
not happy. See, this is one of the objects that the ghost likes. Uh, and the other one... Uh, I hope there should be another one. Should be another one. I don't know where it is. No, 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 no! Okay. Um, not here. What? Is it in the kitchen? Is it, the, is it in the kitchen? No. I am being blind. I am blind, I am blind. And you see that the heartbeat and the, the effects they just add a lot. They add a lot. So, well, those, those are the basic things that, were, that we had before. But yeah, now, now the mechanics are different, just with this I explained. Um, let me go through the change log for a second and see if there is something that um, we might have missed. Uh, oh, the player is the facts, stuff. Yeah. Oh, yes, there is, there is, oh, I forgot about something, there is one feature that is also on this you can when you deploy the the torch you can deploy the torch and it preserves the direction that you're facing so this torch is facing right and it keeps facing right um if we try to deploy this one we could deploy it here that way and you see that it's illuminating upright, but it's not illuminating this side because it preserves the direction. The other thing is that it, it also computes, that's also new, it computes now the, the occlusion of the flashlight. So if I do this, okay, now I, I have some illumination here. If I close, now it updates the, the occlusion of the, of the flashlight. So now I have some light here outside, and now I don't. So it's computing the occlusion, Evan. If I point outside... And I don't have a flashlight now, because I dropped there the flashlight. And I'm totally crazy, I can hear it. Let's, let's move, let's move around. Ta -ta -ta -ta. So yeah, now you can see that there is occlusion here. So the flashlight is there, it's illuminating outwards, and it's illuminating those tiles over here and here. Those are the two windows, but within those two windows, that, that one is dark, this one is dark. Uh, so it's, but it's basically computing the shadow as well. So yeah, that's that's all. That's all that we have here uh, for this update. Um, it has not been as packed as the last one because I was working for two months, um, and this one has been very short. But yeah, this. I think this adds a lot of. Storytelling, tension, I don't know how to call it. The, the environment is just different. It's, it's different. And now when you go to the university, um, it's totally different. The idea is very different. It's now like you want to turn on the lights. And you can deploy and so on and yeah, yeah no, now now it's it's different with the sounds you can also hear the, the ghost from very afar so you are browsing here uh, and so on you can hear the ghost and you can try to tell uh, from the volume if it is close or far away so that now your hearing is also uh, another tool to help you locate the ghost so for example i think i heard it and it was very low in volume, so probably it's in the other side of the of the map. But yeah, I mean, totally different thing. You now you can also another strategy. You can deploy uh, several of the same thing. I could be deploying several Giger counters at, at different points because you can pick several of the same thing. Same if I can if I can show you, and you could drop them uh, because they are very slow reading, and over time they will average. 
the reading of the ghost. So you will get a total count of like overall presence of the ghost by using the Geiger counter. So, which is a tool to just take your time and um, do the readings to pinpoint the ghost properly and point you into the, into the right direction. Let's see if I can show you this. So you could just grab three of the same. There is no problem. And for example, you could do something very easy. You could drop one on the center. One on the left, uh, on the left part of the map. And another one on the right part of the map. You could start doing other things and then you could check them back to see uh, what is the reading on each of those and by the difference on the readings you can try to triangulate where is the ghost as i'm saying like because it updates so slow it will tell you it will be pointing you to the average position of the world of, of the ghost because now the ghost moves much much more than before because of the haunted objects that they go the ghost goes to each haunted object back and forth uh, it can traverse the whole map. So that's a, an important thing. That Now that we, that we have here so many rooms and the map is so big, uh, the ghost takes a lot to figure out where is the ghost, what it's doing. So you can come here and see, okay, 74, 75 is still increasing. You can just take the other one and um, see if we are getting like more lag on the center, on the left, on the right. And that could be telling you a lot. I don't know. It's it's nice. I I, I am liking it more much more than game right now. See this this one is is lower. We have also taken into account that this one has been set up later, so it takes more time to ramp up. But it seems lower. I don't know. And you could do things like that. I've been playing it and I've been enjoying it quite more with the whole idea. Um, so I don't know. Tell me what you think. I am um, enjoying it, I like it, I think we are on to something that is taking a very great form, that's what I, I love so much, that it's taking a such a great form. So much options, so much things that we can do and when still you when, when you start seeing already the game like take, taking form, it's much much easier to think like I don't know, I get excited about it. Oh, it seems stable. 74, 73, so this one is stable. I can check the other one. Just just to see, I don't know. It's gonna be more than 74 or less than 74. I don't know. Seventy-four. Seventy-five. 76 that, that tells us that it is probably closer to here but not so close so that probably means that is in the top part of the map because this is the bottom part it is probably in the top part because if both have similar readings it means that the distance is not that different so it has to be far away to get to, to be parallel one to the other I don't know, you can, you can see this is, this is some math stuff you can do on, on your head. If you know what you're doing, you can get additional information. That's, uh, that's the cool stuff that I like, that you, you, you can uh, use your, your knowledge and your thinking to, to be playing the game if you want. Or you could be checking rooms one by one, because the other thing that we did in the previous one, that I, I don't think if I updated you on that in the last video, is that the, the, the temperature now flows much better than before. And uh, now it's just being possible to follow the ghost via temperature changes. So you can also scan. Problem is that the closed door also prevents the temperature from changing from the uh, inside of the, the room to the outside. But because the ghost roams and um, goes on the hallway as well, you can also see the temperature is going down or is going up. So 5.4, it's going down. You could be doing this and see what do you get. We are 
hitting it as well. You see that is roughly guiding us. Here it is. See? Now it's guiding us to somewhere. I don't know why it is in this room or check see negative temperature and uh, we don't know if it is this room because that room has some haunted object or is his main room one of the, those rooms here we don't know that's something that you need to investigate that's part of the game no? is investigation like okay what is happening here why why the ghost is moving like it is moving so we need to pick the uv light and, and start checking and understanding move that way, control and follow the ghost and see, okay, no, maybe let's be here to be honest <laughs> I like it I love it that's so, that's so much so much I love it anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave it at that because I don't know how long I've been talking um, I think that shows enough uh, what the game is about, what uh, the changes are. Uh, so yeah, uh, as usual, it is um, available via Wasm, but you need Google Chrome or something similar um, in a compatible computer to run it via Wasm. And still, Wasm is not that, as, that fast, so audio might crackle and so on. Um, so the best way is to go via uh, source code and build it. It's very simple to build. There are building instructions in the readme of the project page. So yeah, you can just build it in Windows, build it in, li in Linux. It is very simple. It's not much of a problem. So yeah, um, I'm going to leave it at that. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, what? Leave a comment if you liked it. Oh no. Or subscribe to the channel if you want to, s to see more because I'm going to be updating videos from time to time as well. Okay. Well, see you.